Hello friends, press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for more such easy videos. Friends, this is the second part of cell division. In this part we are going to discuss the types of cell division. There are three types of cell division, amitosis, mitosis and meiosis. When we talk about amitosis, first we need to understand the meaning of the word. A means without and mitosis means equal. It means in amitosis there is no equational division. The term amitosis was given by scientist called Remac. In this the nuclear membrane is retained through the cell division. Throughout the cell division the nucleus membrane remains. Cytokinesis and karyokinesis takes place simultaneously. When we talk about amitosis we need to understand there is no equal distribution of the chromatin material or the genetic material. It takes place in paramecium, endosperms and fetal cells. When we talk about amitosis, it, we can say it's a type of binary fission where the two daughter cells are formed from the parent cell and in this division the daughter cells formed may or may not contain equal amount of chromatin material. Let's understand the most important type of cell division that is mitosis. When I use the word mitosis, mitos means thin thread like structure. The term mitosis was given by Walter Fleming. It is an equational division equal taking place in somatic cells or vegetative cells in which or even body cells in which daughter cells formed contains same number of chromosome as that of parent cell. Most important the daughter cells they contain same number of chromosome as in the parent and mitosis from one cell we get two cell. For example if parent cell is having 16 daughter cells will also have 16. Meiosis the word meios means reduction. So the term was given by Farmer and Moore Meiosis is reductional division taking place in germ cell or reproductive cell in which the daughter cells formed contains half number of chromosome as that of parent cell. It means here the chromosome number will become exactly half. In meiosis most important from one cell we always get four cell. So if the parent cell is having 16 in daughter cells they will be having 8, 8 and 8 chromosomes. So this is how meiosis is. Meiosis includes meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Friends, let's understand first of all how the interface cell will look alike after completing the interface. So it is going to have a proper nuclear membrane. It will be having nucleolus. It will be showing chromatin material and the centriole. Now since I am drawing centriole, it is very much clear that I will be talking about the cell division of animal cell. And if the question comes as plant cell, remember do not draw the centriole, just draw polar bodies. Let's understand the first division, mitosis, equational division. Everything is equal. There are two parts. First will be karyokinesis followed by cytokinesis. Karyokinesis division of nucleus, it includes four stages prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. And in cytokinesis with respect to animal cell and plant cell things will be different. If it is animal cell there will be furrow formation and if it is plant cell there will be cell plate formation. Friends let us understand the stages of mitosis. First we have prophase. The word pro means first and phase means stage. So what we can say that the prophase is the first stage of mitosis. What is going to happen? Here the nuclear membrane and the nucleolus they start disappearing slowly. Centrioles they start moving towards opposite poles. They are surrounded by ester rays and they are joined by spindle fibers. 
and when we talk about chromatin material in the previous video i have given that step that the chromatin material condenses to form chromatid which further condenses to form chromosome so all these are the important points that we need to understand in prophase so what we are going to do let's understand what we are supposed to write for prophase it is the first stage of mitosis here the nuclear membrane and the nucleolus starts disappearing and at the end of prophase it will disappear centriole starts moving toward opposite poles and they are connected by spindle fiber whereas the chromatin material it undergoes condensation and forms chromatid which undergoes further condensation to form chromosome let's talk about the next stage that is the metaphase what do you mean by the word meta meta basically means equator and when i use the word phase it simply means stage so the chromosomes those who are formed in the prophase they are going to arrange themselves on equatorial plane so we can say the centrioles have moved towards opposite poles they are surrounded by aster rays and both the poles are connected to each other by the help of spindle fiber and all the chromosomes by the help of centromere they will arrange themselves on an equatorial plane as you can see here uh, all the chromosomes are in straight line so metaphase is the best stage to study chromosome why here the chromosome becomes more condensed thick and prominent let's see what to write in exam you need to say it's an equatorial stage all chromosomes arrange themselves on an equatorial plane best stage to study mitosis or chromosome because here the chromosome becomes more thick and prominent when we talk about the chromosomes we can say chromosome attached to the spindle fiber at the centromere friends let's talk about anaphase ana means short phase means stage it is the shortest stage of all the four stages now what is going to happen in the anaphase most important is we need to understand that the chromosome here will break from the centromere and it will divide into two that is daughter chromosome and they start moving towards opposite poles so it breaks from the centromere move toward opposite poles that is what is the anaphase even though it is the shortest phase we need to understand it has different different fibers so let's see the fibers one by one so there is a one fiber this is aster fiber which arises from the centriole there is interpolar fiber connecting both the centrioles chromosomal fiber is between centriole and the chromosome it pulls the daughter chromosome towards the opposite pole interchromosomal fiber is between the two daughter chromosome which pushes the chromosome towards the opposite poles what to write in exam we need to say it is the shortest phase the chromosome divides from the centromere and starts moving towards opposite poles there are four types of fibers formed in anaphase the first fiber is the aster fiber it arises from the centriole second fiber is interpolar fiber third fiber is interchromosomal fiber and the fourth one is the chromosomal fiber let's see what is aster fiber arises from the centriole interpolar fiber connects the two centrioles or the polar end interchromosomal fiber is between two daughter chromosome it pushes the chromosome towards opposite pole and the chromosomal fiber is between the centriole and the daughter chromosome it pulls the chromosome towards opposite pole so that is why the anaphase is the most important part when you talk about the telophase we need to understand it telo means end phase means stage so basically it is the last stage of mitosis or you can say it is the last stage of karyokinesis of mitosis and this what is happening the nuclear membrane and the nucleolus they are reappearing when the daughter chromosome it recoil important word recoils to form the chromatin material again so what we need to write in exam for telophase you can say it is the last stage of mitosis where the reversal of prophase takes place 
nuclear membrane and nucleolus disappears the spindle fibers disappears and we can say the daughter chromosome recoils to form chromatin material this is all what you can say for telophase once karyokinesis is over cytokinesis takes place we need to understand cytokinesis with respect to both the cell animal cell and the plant cell when i talk about cytokinesis of animal cell we need to understand one very important thing that it takes place by furrow formation and in case of plant cell it takes place by cell plate formation when we talk about by furrow formation so it starts from the periphery and moves towards the center by constriction in plant cell it starts from center and moves towards periphery by deposition of cellulose which helps in cell plate formation in animal cell it is the centripetal movement and in plant cell it is centrifugal movement let's see this to be the two daughter nuclei form where the constrictions will be coming from both the end and finally we get a two daughter cells now since it is mitosis both the daughter cells will be having same number of chromosome as that of parent cell this is how the cytokinesis takes place in animal cell and it is of centripetal type furrow formation so remember for animal cell towards centripetal and furrow in plant cell it is centrifugal the two daughter nuclei and from the center there will be deposition of cellulose so it moves from center to the periphery as you can see here it is moving the cellulose plate or cellulose gets deposited from central to periphery and it is centrifugal type so you get two daughter cells let's understand the most important point significance of mitosis why mitosis is so much important so what we can say the first basic point is that the chromosome number is same as that of parent cell here the chromosome number is maintained in all the cell it plays a very important role in growth development healing repair of wound we need to understand that it is an equational division so it means there is equal distribution of genetic materials it has important role in asexual reproduction in unicellular organisms like amoeba we need to understand one more thing that this mitosis is the most important type of cell division because here the cells chromosome number remains same friends do give a like to the video if you have understood mitosis in a simple way thank you very much